When you're working on a project, it's very important that you add additional data to your renderings during, especially during the test rendering phase, like for example, render time or frame number. So when you view it, you, so you see exactly like, oh, this frame has an issue, it did render very long and oh, it's this exact frame. And for this, we usually had the stamp feature, but it's gone now, as you can see, instead it reads metadata. And when I open this, stamp is still there, but let me not use stamp. I won't click this. Instead, let me select everything here and even add a note, like for example, when the cookie folks are awesome. And you really are. And now let me hit render and render the image. You see, nothing is there. Usually, the, if, if I had used stamp, there would be a text written exactly into the image reading all the information here, but it's not here. Instead, let me save the image as a PNG, for example. And now here on view, let me select show metadata. And now I have all the metadata I have selected here and it's read from the file. It's where I'm writing them to EXIF. And if you're using OpenEXR, it's writing them to the header of the file. So I have everything I had here, like the render time, the date and everything and below also things like the time, which is by the way, not the time when this was rendered, that is up here and date. Instead, this is the time in the time of the frame in the animation. So at 24 frames per second, the frame number 52 would be at two seconds and four frames. Like here's also the frame number. So this is really awesome, especially because we can now view the metadata that is attached to the images and it's also enabled by default. So you don't need to add stamp anymore and you can read it from inside Blender. So you don't need to use stamp anymore because if I you did, well, what I will do now, let me show you how it will look then. And you see, then it will be written directly into the image. And this is obviously not good for final renderings. And with enabled metadata, you can now even get all this data for your finals, which is really, really cool. And you can also view it in the video editor, not yet in the video, cl video clip editor, but in the VSE. Let me show you by adding an image sequence where I have used it at image strip. And then here under view, let me show enable show metadata. And for example, here I have the render time. And when I'm running through the animation, you see that it updates the render time for each frame and reads it directly from the PNGs. So you can see it started like one minute and it's now like four minutes per frame, which of course is quite long. And because Blender is saving the metadata as EXIF data inside PNGs or JPEGs, people could, for example, write Python add-ons that provide statistics on your, the renderings of your animations, even for your finals. And that is super awesome. And I really love this new feature. It's very, very important, at least for me. And I guess for some of you as well.